I could post this on YouTube, how to make s'mores inside with Cosmos. All right, kids, here's the, uh, here's the most fun part about making s'mores inside. You take a blowtorch. You gotta slowly roast it. If you go too hard, it just roasts it real quick. See that? Yeah, we got caught on fire just a little bit there. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we get this bottom part all fluffy. Okay. Now the top. Get that nicely poofed. There we have it. One s'more, ready to go. Oh, there we go. Just go ahead and smush that. Smush that down right there. That's a s'mores. So if you want to, you can go ahead and hand this off to your homie. Here, take a bite, stream. Um. But I don't have anyone here with me right now except my cat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it before we make the other s'mores. Mm. The only thing is it doesn't have the smoky taste that the campfire gives it, but if you wanna make some s'mores at home and you don't have a campfire, just use a blowtorch. It's torture time. If you really focus, you can get a good wafting of heat around the marshmallow and give it a really good genuine toast without just fucking wrecking it. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we wrecked it a little bit. No one saw that. And it happened again. You know, we just gotta get the top and we're good to go. So, now at this point, what you're going to go ahead and do is use your second one that you have out here for the marshmallow. And smack that bad boy right on there. Now, normally what you would have done is if you had someone else there chilling with you, you would have handed off that first s'more. At which this point, you're like, well, I have a, a, a third one. So you'd probably want to make a fourth. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Because I can only eat three s'mores right now. Four would be a little excessive. But think about it. If you went and handed off the other one to your homie or whoever you're session with, right? Or chilling with. And you gave them the s'mores. You would probably want to eat your second s'more before you made the third one. So that's just what I'm going to do. So, cheers. Mmm. 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 It's amazing. It's amazing. Mmm. Five stars. Maybe I'll title this YouTube video 
making gourmet s'mores at home without a campfire. These are gourmet, right? Or are these... They're gourmet. Fresh ingredients. These marshmallows, they're not stale at all. sticky I'm not gonna lie but this is the last one I'll clean them afterwards we got a full send I'm not gonna lie we gotta finish what we started here then we're gonna play that dank game once we finish this we're getting this one with the wafting toast to get that nice golden brown this is amazing, honestly. We caught minor heat there on that side. Just a little bit, not too bad. If it catches on fire, just give it a little, whoo, you know? Just feel, whoo, a little too much there. Careful there, marshmallow. Whoo! Let me get that top nicely toasted here. Oh, hey, hey! Careful with that marshmallow. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Money. Now we just gotta get the bottom. Sometimes it roasts the stick a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? I really love that. Full toast. Full toast. Look at that. Look at that. This is really good YouTube content. This is a really good tutorial as well. Step by step, you know. Twirl the stick if you really are having troubles getting it out. Just give it a little twirl. Boom. Now you may be thinking, Cosmos, what happens when your cracker gets all messed up like this? Fuck it. If you were camping, would you care? No. Just pretend like you're camping and eat the damn s'mores. Cheers. Delicious.